Hey, how are you? This is James Tripp and, uh, well, if you, if you follow this blog, you'll know I haven't posted on here for a while. Um, I've been taking some time off from Hypnosis Without Trance to explore some change work stuff and play with some new ideas in that area, which has been really fun and really rewarding. But ultimately it all comes back down to Hypnosis, I think. So here I am once again on the Hypnosis Without Trance blog. I have something, uh, a thought, an idea, a concept to share with you which I think is, um, is quite paradigm shifting and very, very powerful. Now, hypnosis. One of the things that people associate with hypnosis is going into hypnosis and often deeply into hypnosis. Now, this is a metaphor. It's not a reality, it's, it's a metaphor. It's treating hypnosis as if it's some kind of container that you can put somebody into and more to the point, put them into deeply. Now metaphors are powerful things, they, they really are in a sense the underpinning of how we as human beings make sense of the world. Now you know, if you know anything about Hypnosis Without Trance, that my whole approach to Hypnosis Without Trance is about engaging belief systems, engaging people as meaning making creatures and getting into how they construct reality so as to shift them to a place where they're constructing a different reality. This is hypnosis, this change in reality, when we lead somebody from the reality of everyday experience to a very different, very unique, very unusual, very special, altered, altered um, I nearly said altered state of reality, but altered perception of reality is a more accurate description. Now, Metaphor is a very powerful thing to utilise. We can get caught up in the metaphor ourselves as hypnotists. And as such, I think this is what's happened over time, this metaphor of putting people into hypnosis. Well, here's something that I think is very important, very worth knowing. You don't have to do that, but you can use that metaphor and you can use it in much more powerful ways. Let's imagine for a moment we wanted to um, set up, say, an anaesthesia. Okay, an anaesthesia in somebody's hand, in the subject's hand. We're going to use hypnosis to do this. And what we want is we want for them to have a different experience of reality. In this new experience of reality, their hand is numb. It's impervious to pain. So this is the new reality we want to take them into. Now listen to the metaphor. That's the metaphor. The same into container metaphor we were talking about before. Classically... Hypnosis and hypnotists will take people into, take their subjects into trance in order for them to have this experience of, uh, of anaesthesia in our example. Now what I would like to suggest to you and what I've found from my own experience is this is a red herring. This is a red herring. The use of this metaphor to take somebody into a particular state over here that ostensibly has nothing to do other than in the hypnotist's belief system has nothing to do with the an anaesthesia in the hand. It's a red herring, we're going indirectly, we're wasting a lot of time, effort and energy in falling into our own belief system about what hypnosis needs to be, rather than going directly and taking the subject directly into the phenomena we would like them to experience. So this is my thinking on this. Instead of taking somebody into trance, forget that, go straight there, take them directly into the phenomena and take them deeper into the phenomena. Now this is not just a philosophical point. This is, this is a guiding principle and it's a guiding principle when you embrace it can be reflected and I would say should be reflected if you want to be as effective as possible. In It should be reflected in your language and how you communicate. So if somebody's starting to have an experience of anaesthesia in this example and you're saying what's that like and they're saying it's, it's beginning to go slightly tingly across the back of my hand and you say and tingly across the back of your hand go more fully into that tingly now and as you go more fully into that more fully more deeply notice that tingly that numb spreading all the way across the backs of your fingers so you can use it in your language to invite the client invite the subject to go fully into the experience that you want them to experience. Now to me, does that make more sense? Go straight into the phenomena instead of going into this trance thing which may or may not exist first. 
you know, if trance does exist, if they need trance to go into that experience, they'll generate sufficient trance, whatever that may be, to do it, if you really believe that that's, uh, that's a necessary factor. Um, now, one last thing I'm going to say about this. When you think about utilising this metaphor of into and going deeply into things, let your imagination run wild. What kind of shifts in reality do you want to facilitate? Because you can go into, you can take people into, metaphorically, anything. You can take them into the hypnotic phenomena. You can take them into, uh, into an emotion, which is, again, will be a hypnotic phenomena, into a state, into a mindset. You could take them into an attitude, deeply into an attitude, if you can illustrate that attitude, if you can map that attitude out, you can take them into that. Or, if you, uh, if you do change work and hypnotherapy kinds of stuff, you can take people into the information of their problem pattern. And when they go deeply into the information of that problem pattern, then you can help them to reorganize it from the inside out. And that, that is powerful. That is much, much more powerful than taking somebody into a generic trance state. So, let your imagination run wild. Start thinking about that concept of going into and deeply into things and start thinking, hmm, where would be interesting to take this person and how deeply into that experience could I take them? I hope that's, uh, I hope that's a useful concept for you. I hope you get that that's not just a, uh, a, a mental kind of uh, philosophical concept, that it has a practical application. Please play with it. Please... Um, think about how you could apply it and I'd love to hear back from you the kind of results that you get so if you go deeply into putting comments uh, on, the, uh, on the blog below then I would appreciate that too okay, take care of yourselves I look forward to speaking to you again soon um, 